What's going on, Legion? As you'll hear, like always, and we got some, excuse me, Krypton promo stuff. Now, I just woke up. This is going to be a very laid back reaction. Like, I literally just, you can't see my hand. My hand's part. I just, it just rolled out of bed. Um, let's go. Let's get into it. Check it out. See what it's all about. Let's hope it's good. He's here to destroy Krypton and make sure Superman is never born. Brainiac is going to rip Kanda from the right. ground and enslave all of us. You are an L. You have the power to destroy everything. There's no turning back from this. She's a traitor. She's a Zod. So your fortress still holds some secrets. Mm. Hello, Seth. You don't even trust me. You didn't even hear the full story. Adam Strange. Krypton is at an end. Maybe I was wrong. The entire city will rise and stand against him. You do not know the danger we're in. What'd you do? What's superhero still. All right, hold on. We gotta watch this again. He's here to destroy Krypton and make sure. Well, let's Superman break these down real quick. This, this season on Krypton. Candle from the ground and enslave all of us. There's more to House of L. Power to destroy everything. There's more to Zod, the Zods. Okay, um, I guess I'm gonna say that that Superman Clark's grandfather had his own fortress because it, it it always like makes it seem like they're gonna be showing the future like Superman. But one of the other trailers showed that there may not be a Superman if blah blah blah. That might have just been a promotional thing. Let's keep going. No turning back from this. She's a traitor. She's a Zod. She's one of the fortress. Secrets. All right. Hello, sir. Huh. So I'm believing this is still the grandfather of Kal El. Um, oh, that man, this man coming up might be Adam Strange. There's more to Adam Strange. That could have been Adam Strange. You didn't even hear the full story. Krypton. Is what a brainiac. Maybe I was wrong. The entire More to the city legend. will okay. rise and stand against him. You do not know the danger we're in. What'd you do? What superheroes do? What was the show? What was the show that was just on in the bottom corner right here? What is that? All New Wednesday? Wait, did this show come out? Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. Let's. I gotta check now. Is Krypton out? I didn't know if it was coming out. I was not aware. I, I missed. I missed it. Hold on. Um. Um. Hold on. Give me a second. Look up something else first. Yeah, okay. That's who I thought Adam Strange was. He's that, like, no-powered rocket ship fuck that I never liked. Okay, yeah. And then let's do Krypton here. Uh, Krypton. Krypton. First episode, March 21st. Uh, what? Oh, Jesus. I'm a week behind. Well, that was a promo to something else. Well, holy shit, man! I've been so sucked for the show, and I didn't. <clears throat> I never knew the release date for it. I'm gonna go ahead and follow him on Twitter, though. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, check them out, Krypton. Let's follow him. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, it's the house of hell. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's not do that again. Let's not read that. Uh, all right. Cool. All right. Well, that's kind of into that. Uh, yeah. I did not know this show was out. I'm going to go ahead and find the first episode to watch. I am really excited because the reason why I'm... Oh, Jesus. I'm really bright. I've never fixed my lighting yet. I'm just lazy. Um, the, re the reason why I'm so interested is because DC has always been... Like, I love Marvel and I love uh, Star Wars. They're probably two of my favorites. And DC's up there, but not for the same reason. Because DC has great stories and stuff. But Marvel always tries to have some kind of plausibility, some kind of basis in reality. Like, if things, if we were just maybe a little smarter, you know, there could be a Tony Stark, you know, 
if if Ethan Hawking was you know not diagnosed, maybe he could have been the super or the, the Iron Man, right? And Fantastic Four, it's like what happens if if humanity could survive that kind of stuff? It's like a what if. DC is very like outlandish. It's out there. It's just aliens and super powered people and uh, rings that give you abilities, and it's just a whole thing. And I like that. It, 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 like, if I could live in a Star Wars or a Marvel universe, I would prefer those. But if I wanted to create a story, and I have uh, my own telling of something that could happen in, in any universe, DC is just, like, I think the way to go. Um, and one, like, I remember I was always like, what if the two universes of the two comic book universes came together and you could create your own Four Horsemen of Apocalypse? Like Apocalypse did, and you could have Superboy Prime as, uh, you know, he's like, he looks like a Black Lantern. All his skin is just dried and stuff, except for the skull. There's just it's all like silver, like metal, and it's just his eyes, like his the skin right here, like tacked on, and like some straps there, and he has the Power Stone, right, the Infinity Stone, the Power Stone, and he would be the War. He would be War from the Four Horsemen. And I was like, oh, it would be really cool if they did something like that, like a what if, and you just start. And so I've always thought, what happens if you combine the cool stuff from over here with the characters that I love from over here, or vice versa, or this or that. You know, because that way, he, you know, the heat vision would come out, he, eyes would move, but it would be a skeleton, and, you know. Um, and I always thought, like, cool stuff like that, or, or creating my own lantern based off of what, like, what Marvel entity you know like a celestial something like that could you turn into a power battery for a different kind of you know what happens if you oh what happens if you just uh, uh, uh dark side is a god of chaos he's a god that's what he is he's inhabiting a fleshy form what happens if you imprison him and made you know a, a new lantern the chaos lantern i've always thought stuff like that it's just always so easy to just come up with something in Marvel, you gotta kind of go. Well, this is the backstory. This is how things collide, and things and blah blah blah. And DC are just like, hey, what happens if just this guy built his own lantern, and he was the power source? And done. Let's do it. You know, it's just it's more free, I think. And so that's what I love about DC is that you can just kind of go and do anything you want. Marvel had to kind of create a what if category, the ultimate Spider-Man, uh, uh, the ultimates instead of the Avengers. You had to have like a separate universe of what 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 if, because they've always focused on the main story. DC is like we got the new Fifty Two. What happens? You know, let's just hey, this is just a thing. You know, not some crazy branch of TV shows. The Flash, Arrow, none of that stuff takes place in canon for the most part. Hell, even. Even the Flash, they changed history and they kind of left it alone, which was kind of crazy. I'm glad they did it. But none of that stuff takes place in canon. Um, like Cloak and Dagger, Jessica Jones and the Punisher, and Dead, that all takes place in the SVU, the Cinematic Universe, which kind of reflects the comics. They're kind of in parallel. There's a whole overarching thing. DC doesn't do that. It's just everything. TV is one thing. Movies are a different thing. Uh... All this stuff, you know, comics are one thing, and, and that's, I, I like that. I like that there's just so much variety. We have so many what-if stories pretty much going on with DC. That makes it really fun. I've talked a really long time for a clip that was about 43 seconds. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If uh, if you stayed at the very end, you know, maybe hit me with the uh, the high five in the chat down below. Love to see you in the comments. And uh, with that, I'm going to get out of here. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And if you like the video, like the content, you can like, subscribe, and share. Whatever it's completely up to you, I do appreciate it, though. And again, thanks for staying to the very end of this very talkative video. I had some stuff to say. Uh, it would have been a lot shorter, but then I realized that the show was already out, and I was like, what? Oh, fuck. I got to watch it, like, tonight. So thanks for that, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Later.